Hey, how we doing everybody? Matt Moda here with OddsDan, and we're starting to have more and more sports books post their odds for NFL Sunday, uh, specifically for player props, I should say, post their player prop odds. So I'm going to go through and find the best player prop bets for Sunday, NFL Week 14. The first play that we're going to go ahead and lock in here is this Mike White over one and a half passing touchdowns. So you can get this at plus 160 at Bet Rivers. You can also get it at Barstool, Twin Spires, and Unibet. And this is an awesome, awesome bet in terms of value. The no vig odds that Oddsham calculates has this at about plus 141, 19 cents lower than what Bet Rivers is giving it to us at plus 160. And like I said, that is an awesome, awesome value play. Uh, these no vig odds that you see here, they're pulled from the sharpest sports books in the world, the sports books that consistently over the course of time do the best job at pricing odds. So you can view these odds you see in this column here, the Novig odds up and down the Ajdam positive EV page. You can view them as the true line of what a market should be priced at. So as we can see here, the true line has this all the way down at plus 140. We're getting it at plus 160. Awesome value. Next up, look at the EV percent here, 7.77%, lucky number 7%. So for every $100 bet on this play, and as you can see, my recommended bet size is at about 120, so just above $110. For me, that's 1.2 units. Uh, one unit is $100 for me, so just to give everybody an idea of that. So if I bet this for 120 bucks, I would make roughly $8 on this individual bet which doesn't sound like a lot, $8 on one bet. Uh, this can be viewed as your theoretical, uh, your profit margin, basically, your expected profit margin. Like I said, $8 doesn't seem like a lot, but if I'm, think about how many bets that you place over the course of a, a normal NFL Sunday. Like I, I've heard of uh, customers getting up to like 50. So not all, of course, not all 50 are gonna be at 8% uh, profit margin, right? But 50 times, I mean, 50 times, let's say if the average is four, that's like what, $200 that you're making just from one day of betting. So these EV percents just kind of give you an idea of how much you should expect to make. The higher obviously equals higher profit margin. Doesn't necessarily doesn't necessarily mean that higher is automatically the better play. You still need to do some research into it, which is what I'll show you right now. So Bet Rivers plus 160. Look at where every other book is pricing odds for this play. Points bet is the closest at plus 140. That's still 20 cents lower. And then we see odds range from plus 126 at Pinnacle. Sharpest sports book in the world, Pinnacle, has it at plus 126. Bet online at plus 128 is another very sharp sports book, all the way down at plus 128. DraftKings does a great job specifically with player props, down at plus 130. And then Caesars as the lowest at plus 118. All of these sports books have it priced significantly more favorably than Bet Rivers at plus 160, giving us an awesome value, awesome value on this play. So Mike White throwing for two touchdowns against the Bills is my first player prop for this video. Next up, this Josh Allen one, the odds changed as you can see here. So this is not gonna be a play. Just kinda wanna show you what it looks like when the odds do change. Uh, but this Kendall Hinton, Hinton receiving, I did think was really good. So um, Kendall Hinton over 38 and a half receiving yards, plus 112 at Caesars. Um, no big odds price this at plus 104, giving us a profit margin of just below 3%, or excuse me, just below 4% at 3.81. Uh, expected or uh, uh, recommended bet size here of $90. And again, look at all the other sports books and where they price it. So we can ignore prize picks because they're a DFS company. They're going to have different odds, um, or sorry, excuse me, they're going to have the same exact odds for every play. They're not going to have different odds, but look at the sports books that price it. Minus 113, minus 110, minus 110, minus 115. We are getting this at plus 112 at Caesars. So no book even has it below minus 110. Another awesome play here, Kendall Hinton over 38 and a half receiving yards. Next up, I really like this Dawson Knox over two and a half receptions, minus 125 at Bet Rivers. Again, we can ignore prize picks. Uh, well, I guess we have the no vig odds, of minus, one, uh, minus 130. This actually would be a good prize picks play at minus 119 if you're looking for prize picks. Um, but again, look at where the other sports books price it. Minus 155, minus 152, minus 155, minus 160. We are getting it at a minimum 27 cents lower 
at minus 125. Nova gods of minus 130, our bet at minus 125, profit margin 1.74%. And then the last play that where I'm gonna go ahead and lock in here is this Devin Singletary over 42 and a half rushing yards, even money plus 100 at Caesars. No big odds of about minus 103. We're getting it at plus 100, profit margin of about 1.3%, 1.34 to be exact. And look at the other sports books and where they price it. Bet online, minus 115, other side at minus 112. Bet online, every single book, I should say, all three of them think that the over is the more likely scenario, right? Bet online, look at where they have the overpriced, minus 115. Look at where the under is, minus 112. They think the over is more likely, so they're making it more expensive to buy. So you can get an idea of what these sports books view a market just from the odds themselves as what they think is more likely and by how much. DraftKings, same thing, the over at minus 120, the under at minus 110. Uh, BetMGM, minus 120 towards the over, minus 115 towards the under. Another really good play. So that's going to be it for this video. Got a couple player props for you guys. If you're tailing, comment and let me know. And again, that's it. So appreciate you all watching and have a good one.